Hey, hello. So I want to walk us through installing the Promethean share screen on our computer so that we can go into any room on our devices and uh, share our screens with the Promethean boards that we have. So one simple place, um, easy way to, to do is just add it as a Chrome extension. So this kind of visual gives you that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in the search engine. We're going to put in Chrome extensions. So when we put in Chrome extensions, once we get to the Chrome Web Store, we're going to put Promethean in, the word Promethean. We should see this that says Promethean Screen Share. And then once we um, go there, it's going to ask us to install. So we'll install it. Once we install it, it will be on our, you can find your Screen Share um, extensions. Oops, I'm sorry. Right here to the right of yours, uh, up here. It's going to be in this puzzle piece. Let me go back and fix that. And then once you click on that, you should be able to see Promethean Screen Share. So let's walk through that. So I'm going to go to Google and then put in um, Chrome extension. I go to the Chrome Web Store. Once I get to the Web Store, I can put in Promethean. And this first one, Promethean Screen Share, is what we want. So I click on that. Right here, it says remove because I have to install, but it would normally say install. So you click on that. Once all this installed, you're given all the kind of um, uh, permissions and stuff. You'll be able to find it up here. This in this puzzle piece. Click on the puzzle piece, and then find that Promethean Screen Share. Once you go and turn on your Promethean board, it's going to give you an ID. So you just input the ID, put your name in, and put it in the enter waiting list, waiting room, and then there you go. And you can do this, and the students should do it, be able to do it also. Um, another place you can try to find it is it may be in Clever. Sometimes it's in Clever. So you can go in and Clever and, and look and search um, Promethean. No, it's not in mine. But it may be in with the students. So there are different different places that you can um, look for it. But the easiest way is just to install it as a Chrome extension. Okay, I hope that helps.